Welcome to the tutorial for how to create a contact sheet in Bridge and Photoshop. Um, I'm going to assume everybody already has their photos saved somewhere on their computer. So the first thing to do is just to open up Bridge. I already have it down here in my dock, so it's a simple click to open it up. If you don't have it down there, you can just find it by going into your Finder and then looking for it in your list of applications here on the left. And it's all alphabetical usually, so we just look for Adobe Bridge CC, and then there it is there. So you can double click on that to open it up, and there it goes. So just find the folder wherever you placed your photos. If it's in your picture folder, click on that, and you'll see all the folders in there that you may have. You can even access your iPhoto library from there. Or if you saved it to a desktop uh, folder, you can find it there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and open up uh, a folder from the uh, auto show from two years ago. And all you need to do now is select the photos that you're going to put into your contact sheet. So if you just want to select everything in the folder, you can just click on one here and then press Command, which is the little key right beside the spacebar, and then A. And that will highlight everything in that folder. So that means everything that's now highlighted is going to be on that contact sheet. If there maybe have some other files in there that you don't want to include or you want to pick and choose which ones you want to put in, uh, generally, I want to see all of the photos, but if there's some that are duplicates or are really out of focus or bad that you don't want to include, uh, then you can just press the command key, hold it down, and you can individually select the ones that you want to put on the contact sheet. Another way you can do it is by holding down the shift key, press the first one that you want, and then if there are others that you want, you can just hold down the shift key and then press the last one in the row and everything between that first one you clicked and the last one will be highlighted. So nothing after that is highlighted, but from the first one to the last one is. Um, so I'm just going to select a bunch of them here. There. So now uh, all those highlighted ones are going to go into my contact sheet. So to create the contact sheet, go ahead up to Tools at the top toolbar there. Find Photoshop right near the bottom and then just move across to Contact Sheet 2 and just press click on that. Now you see Photoshop is opening up and uh, it was pretty fast, sometimes it takes a while. So the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to get a dialog window for the Contact Sheet. There it is. Uh, most of it uh, should be defaulted to, uh, to what we want. It's going to create an 8.5 by 11 size uh, sheet with a bunch of thumbnails, little pictures of all the images that you took. If you look down here where it says thumbnails, you'll see that there's going to be five columns and six rows. So if you can do math, that means you'll get 30 thumbnails per page. Uh, just make sure this little box here, it says rotate for best fit. Make sure that is unchecked. You want that not to be checked because it'll start rotating your images to try and squeeze more of them on there. And that's going to make some of your pictures be sideways or upside down. And you don't really want that or I don't want that because then I can't mark them very easily. Um, so everything else should be okay. Uh, just go ahead then and click OK, and it's going to start creating the contact sheet. And now it's creating the contact sheet. So this can take a while depending on how many photos you have. Um, if you have 30 or less, it's only going to create one page. Uh, but if you have more than 30, page, 30 images, it'll create a separate page for each group of 30 or more. So if you have 65 images, it's going to create three contact sheets. Two of them will be full, and then the last one will just have five pictures. So if you shot 120, you're going to have more contact sheets. So each sheet will be a separate file that you'll have to save for me. And I'll show you how to do that in a second when this finishes up, creating the little thumbnail contact sheet. And it does take a while. It used to be it was very fast. You could do it in Bridge. And it was all done in Bridge and it was quite fast. Now this process going through Photoshop does take longer. And especially if you're shooting raw as you're expected to, then I think it takes even longer because the files are bigger. But there we go. So there's my contact sheet. See all my little pictures. I had 28 pictures that I chose, so I've got two spaces left over. And uh, if you happen to have more than 30, again, you're going to see a separate tab up here for each page. And each of those you're going to have to save for me. So uh, to save those, just go ahead and click File, Save As. And now I have a chance to name it, so I'm going to just call it, put my first and last name, Phil Ravy, Contact Sheet 1. So if you have more than one, just keep numbering them, 
Phil Raby contact sheet two, or use your name, contact sheet three, etc. And what I'd like you to save them as, as uh, is a Photoshop PDF. If you have trouble dropping that into the Dropbox, you can also use a, a JPEG, that's fine too, but I prefer if it's a PDF. Don't just save it as a normal Photoshop uh, file, because that's going to force my Photoshop to open up all the time. So go down to Photoshop PDF, and that document can be opened with Adobe or with the Macintosh uh, Apple Preview program. So make sure that's checked, and then save it to wherever you want. You can save it to your desktop, or you can save it back to wherever you got the images from originally. If you want to keep your contact sheet with all your original images, that's probably a good idea too. So just go ahead and click Save. I created one earlier uh, when I was practicing, so I'm just going to say replace that. Um, then go ahead and click on Save PDF. Just ignore the, all those stuff. Just leave it as it is. It's fine. And now it's creating that contact sheet. So if I go to my desktop, which is where I happen to save it, it should be there. I can get into my desktop by clicking on the Finder guy. And then I should see Phil Raby contact sheet there. There's the preview image. If I double click on that, it should open up in preview. And there's the, the final contact sheet. So that has to be dropped into my Dropbox. If you have more than one contact sheet, obviously all of them have to be dropped in, plus the one image that you thought was your best one. Just drop that original file into my Dropbox as well so I can see the one that you thought was the best. So that's it. If you have any questions, uh, do email me and let me know, and I'm sure we can uh, get you through it. Thanks.